In this video, I will show you how you can create individual student video feedback using the Replay Panopto at Desk software. So I'm just going to load up the Panopto software from my desktop. I've installed this already and I'm going to log in with my usual University of York username and password. For this part, you do need to be online because you will need to log into the system. And the reason for that is that we've set up for you some folders which will be where you put your recordings. So if you don't have a named folder, um, then you can contact us. So this is the first thing you need to, to set as to where your recordings are going to go. Now, I've got a couple of folders in my name and I've specifically asked for one to be set up for video feedback. So I'm going to choose Matt Cornock video feedback as my folder where all of my video feedback is going to sit. I've set up that folder that only I have access to it at the moment. So none of the students can see whatever appears in that folder. And that's good because when I finish recording and it's going to upload into that folder, I don't want students to see each other's work. I only want to see them to see the individual feedback to them. So that folder has been designed so that it's only available to the people I ask it to be available to. On the left hand side then I can choose what I'm going to record. So I do want to record my webcam in this instant, but you can turn that off to none if you so wish. And it looks like that. And I'll turn my webcam on. I've also got my microphone set up. So I've got a headset here and you can see when you start speaking in the microphone that the levels go up and down and you want that to be in the yellow area. Really. You don't want to go any higher than the yellow area. The volume controls on the on the right hand side of that screen. Then finally, uh, you've got the quality setting, set that to ultra um, and that'll give you a nice, good, clean recording. On your sources, the things that you actually can record, um, I want to make sure that my main screen, my main computer screen is captured. And what we're going to do is going to bring up the work that the student submitted and talk through that. So I've got my main screen captured there. So just to run through the checks then, at the top we've got the folder where we're going to put the recordings into. That's a specific folder for video feedback. I'm going to give this a name, which is the student um, I'm actually going to be working on. Probably want to put in uh, the module name as well, just to make it clear to the student uh, what this feedback relates to. And then I've got everything set up on the left. I'm going to click record. Once it starts recording, you can see the numbers at the top, you can minimize the recording screen and then open up the student work. This might be in Word, for example. Now, because this is recording the entire screen, at the moment, this text is going to look very, very small. So what I'm going to do is just go to the View tab and then Full Page Width, and that just brings everything so that we can see that nice and clearly. Switching back to the Home tab, I can then scroll through reading the text showing my thoughts, showing my comments on this text, maybe highlighting certain aspects or even just putting some comments in. Go into the review tab, you can add in comments to the document. What you want to do then is, is narrate and provide some context to why you're adding in these comments. You can also use this as a way to show where different parts of the, the uh, text might want to be elsewhere. So you can highlight the text and actually physically move that to the end of the paragraph or somewhere else in the document if you need to, just to sort of explain how the different uh, document structure might benefit the essay. You can also bring up your Veely website. So if you've got some resources that perhaps you want the student to refer to in the essay or some feedback that requires them to look up additional resources, then you can bring those up on the screen as well. So that's the feedback done. I now, I'm now going to stop recording. So just going back to my Panopto program in here, I'm going to click stop. Now the, the recording has stopped and you get the module and student name, which is going to be the, the title of that recording. It's going to be uploaded into my feedback folder and I'm going to click upload and that starts to upload the recording. Again, you need to be online for this, otherwise it won't upload, but you see a progress meter appear and then once that's disappeared, give it a few seconds. After a few seconds, it will start to process the recording and you can see that appearing on the right hand side. As soon as that pops up, you can go to the share settings, click on the share link for that recording. This will bring up the replay Panopto system and you'll be brought up with the share settings for that recording. You can see already that I have permission, which makes sense because I created the recording. But to add a student on, you need to add their university username. Now, their username is easily found on the student inquiry screen or on the Veely module site list. To do this, to share this with the student, type in York backslash and then their username. 
So I'm just going to type in a username there. Select it from the list that appears. If they've already used replay, you'll see their name as well. And then click Save Changes. You should not use their university email because that will create a open shareable link and we want to keep this nice and secure. So just use their university username. Now you can either share this link at the top by email to the student or you can ask the students to log in to replay and the replay, the standard replay link. When they log in, they can go to the shared with me page and you can share this link with them if you wanted to, to make things easier. And they'll see the feedback that you provided at the very top. They'll click that and then they can play back and watch the feedback.